everyone welcome to the new video so i get this comment like can you please share some you know uh, real time questions or errors uh, that you face and how did you debug it so i would like to you know uh, tell one incident so that you also get an idea that how actually the debugging happens in an organization when any error comes and this issue is so interesting that you know the actual thing which was working was having the issue and because of the missing part in that working workflow it was creating an error in the another workflow because that part was required in another workflow so because it was missing in that so the another workflow was failing whereas the workflow that was missing the block was working fine so what happened in devops you need to make sure you need to connect the dots like if you are debugging any pipeline issue also you need to connect the dots like from starting where the pipeline is getting started so maybe they have created two three pipelines and they are interrelated first pipeline will run then second pipeline will run and third pipeline will run but the error is coming in third pipeline so it is not the case that error will be in third pipeline only you need to get the dots that from where the pipeline is getting started from there check everything that where like everything is fine even if it's running fine does is the content is the uh, workflow fine the content in the workflow is fine or not so that is the real lesson you know which i learned because usually what we do we we tend to look in the workflow which has error and fail that where it actually started from so that is one thing you should always uh try to look upon whenever you are working on debugging an issue maybe that issue is coming from something else and you are searching somewhere else so that is one thing uh, so let's go and i'll try to explain more about the issue so that you get the idea that this is how the real time debugging happens in organizations so let's go example just suppose i have you know of uh, four workflows over here but the error i am getting is in uh, you know test ingress.yaml uh, so what should be my approach my approach should be that first check that in which sequence the workflow should run because sometimes there is a sequence in which the workflow is running first is create infra.yaml that should run after that push docker image then seek, uh, then testing this then secret update so this sequence should be clear then you try to connect the dots because what is happening sometimes the first workflow which which hasn't produced any error but because of something missing over there it is causing test ingress.yaml fa to fail so my point is sometime which workflow which seems that it is success but still error can be there so always whenever you are debugging any issue try to start from starting and connect the dots unless and until the error is very straightforward sometimes the errors are very straightforward that you get in logs so then you understand okay in this workflow the error should be there but if the error is not very straightforward it's complex you are not getting that uh, will it be in this workflow where it is coming from then you should start connecting the dots and then try debugging it so that is what i am trying to explain because that's what happened in my recent debugging that issue was in some other workflow which was running fine because of the missing block over there 
it was causing another workflow to fail and the issue when we checked in error the issue seemed that okay there will be some uh, you know tagging docker tagging fault or something but actually docker build was not happening properly which was in another workflow that was docker build.yaml and when we were deploying the uh, uh, you know application from there it was not able to pick up the image because docker build was not happening properly so this is what the debugging should be you should try to connect the dots and then try to you know uh, start debugging the issue second thing is whenever you are debugging any issue you should see what was the last change made in that workflow if there was any last run which was successful and after that when it start failing that gives a very clear clarity that okay because of this change only the error should will uh, should have happened so that binary search kind of thing you know trying permutation combinations that okay after this commit or after uh, you know this change from uh, in any workflow maybe uh, it's because of another workflow because of that last change it is affecting the uh, the uh, consecutive or you know in uh, dependent workflows so you should start checking the commit when was the last commit when was the last change happened and then uh, what was the change where the change was and then try to start connecting the dots so why i'm telling all this because this is actually it should be a way to debug the issue what you what we can say reverse engineering so from where the issue is coming you try to do reverse engineering okay from here which pipeline was running before it which pipeline was running before it from where the inputs are coming when was the last commit happened when was the last change happened since when this run is failing so this should be your way in debugging the pipeline issues okay so pointers to be kept in mind while debugging pipeline issues so there are two things that first the error is very straightforward that you are you know you are able to make it out okay the the error is there if there is any syntax error mostly the syntax error they are very straightforward okay the error is here okay in this line in this workflow but when the error is of logic or something it's not very straightforward that okay from where it it, it is happening uh in logs whenever you are check and this i am talking about the errors that we get in logs so when it is not very clear you should try to do reverse engineering by connecting the dots from where the pipeline has started third thing is you know a third thing should be when was the last commit what changes were made what was the last successful run so this, this should be your approach while debugging any issue try to compare from the last successful run if you are not getting what was the changes made to try to compare when uh, from that part you should try to compare and you'll get that okay this was these were the changes made so basically it will you know reduce the uh, area where you have to look upon uh, to do the debugging so i hope these pointers are clear in your mind and basic idea to make this video is sometime we miss and we you know 
we try doing we try putting efforts in the wrong area and this happens with most of the people with with many people who are even experienced that you know you focus on something which is not even you know causing an error so this pointer should be kept in mind uh, so that whenever you are going to debug any issue uh, you are not lost in many things and you are just focusing on things which are required so i hope this is very clear and in case you, if, if you have any doubts please comment down so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye